time, um, almost eight years, I've been in pain, uh, chronic pain in my head and neck, and it eventually went into my shoulder. Heartbreaking when you see your daughter crying every morning and can't hardly get out of bed, and you don't know what to say to her because you want to say, how are you doing? But you already know how she's doing. It got so bad eventually. Um, about three years ago, I had to stop working and move back in with my parents, and I pretty much spend my life in bed. I've, I've told her and I've told Ashley, I said, you know, if someone came to me today and said, we can fix your daughter, she'll live a good life, but you've got to die, I said, I'll sign up right now. TMJ specialist, uh, headache clinics, neurosurgeons, cardiologist, infectious disease doctor, Emory Clinic, Lyme's Shands, disease Lyme's tests. disease tests. I pulled up peripheral nerve surgeons. I stumbled on his and it said about four peripheral nerve surgeons in the country that actually do nerves. And I'm like, this has got to be it. So the M25 program was born out of a need not just on the part of the patients, but on a personal need of mine. Uh, when, I was, when I was deployed in Afghanistan, I spent a lot of time doing, uh, doing humanitarian work. I would say 95% of the surgery that I did in Afghanistan was on civilians. And I realized, you know what, I'd been talking for years about doing medical mission work, and I finally got a chance to do it with the military, and it was, really, really rewarding. And so when I came back home, I wanted to do more of that. With the Ashley's case, there was a group of women and, and gentlemen in Nebraska, Elgin, Nebraska. I think it was like 800 people, the population there, and they donated like 506 hours to Ashley. Didn't even know her. We Zoomed with them on a Zoom call, and it was just, I don't know, it's unbelievable, actually. It pays for Ashley's surgery with the doctor at the M25, the doctors, Doing the surgery, it's almost like, to me, pro bono. to uh, build a, um, like an RV in a bus and go travel because I feel like I've been stuck for so long. I just want to like go see things. Maybe have her wash my car a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> After all this, she wants to start donating her time and helping other people because of this program. people. I mean, they just seem like they really care. You go to a hospital, you see nurses, they're nurses. You don't think normally, I guess, hey, they're, they're genuine people. These people seem to be that way. And it makes a difference. Just when he talks to you, he's looking into your eyes, and uh, he's just a compassionate, genuine. genuine person I've ever met as a doctor. I mean, you don't, you don't see that anymore. I'm just 
blown away, really. We're blown away. It is dream come true. Uh, I mean, I don't know any other doctor that's doing anything like this.